Okay, now to convert our 76 centimeters mercury into uh, Pascal, okay, we need to use the formula that I've taught you in uh, liquid pressure equals to your H rho G. Now, some of the students, they ask me, sir, to calculate atmospheric pressure, why are you using the pressure over here for liquid? Now, we are using mercury as a point of reference, like uh, water, guys. You know, every time you say degree Celsius, you are referring to the freezing point of water and also to the boiling point of water when you're referring degree Celsius. The same thing for pressure, uh, talking about atmospheric pressure, I am referring over here to mercury. Now, first, the height. If you notice, the height of uh, our mercury in our barometer earlier was 76 centimeters. Okay, converting this to meters, 0 0.76 meters. Okay, next, given to us, guys, the density for mercury now the density for mercury is 13600 kilograms per meter or cubic meter okay and lastly gravity the value is given to us as 10 newtons per kilogram okay now what we're going to do is using this formula over here pressure equals to h 0. 76 meters and the density for mercury 13,600 and gravity 10 now when we times the whole thing okay do it together with you 0 0.76 times with 13,600 times with 10 the value that you will obtain is 103360 and the unit Pascal okay you can also write it as one two three four five this is the simplified version guys eh? most of the books over here they write it as one times ten to the power of five Pascal this is how we simplify our atmospheric pressure I understand it's one zero three three six zero but this is the simplified version of it to write it in this way now at the end for gas what conclusion we can come up with is one atmospheric is equal to 76 centimeters mercury which is also equal to 1 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal okay now this refers to your atmospheric pressure this is your golden idea okay so this whole thing guys is normally written as P a T M remember this now I told you that I want to explain to you what P A T M so your P A T M is current is normally used as 1 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal do look at your question sometimes they want you to calculate the atmospheric pressure sometimes the atmospheric pressure is given to you okay now in my next video i'm going to teach you about three important scientists three principles okay now do watch my next video guys wait for it